Okay, hi. I'm Jenna from the channel Korean Class for You. I've been uh, uploading videos on my channel and worksheets in my blog, and I thought it would help you if, if I explain how to use the video and the worksheet to get the best results out of them. So I'm going to keep recording for each worksheet that I upload whenever I can spare time. So please keep following. And because this is our first video, before we start, I would like to explain the steps to do um, to study Korean with me, with my materials. First, uh, watch the video to review the sentences. And after you have done so, come to this worksheet and to grasp the, uh, the grammatical points. And remember, this is part of that too, okay? so. Is, uh, if you want to watch this, watch this, but if you just want to read through the grammar points in the worksheet, do that as well, because the sentences um, are really talking about the grammar points uh, that uh, each worksheet is talking about. So instead of just practicing the sentences, it's also more helpful to know the grammatical points in each sentence. And uh, third, go to the video again and practice the sentence through repetition. And do this as much as you can until you are for sure uh, ready to just write out the word, uh, the sentences without any aid. So keep, keep repeating, keep speaking, because your muscles around your mouth and your tongue uh, have to be trained to speak Korean language, Korean sentences. So don't just understand and know it. You need to really, really practice speaking it. So do that. And when you feel that you're confident, then come to this worksheet again and complete. Okay, complete the worksheets here. So these are the words that appear in the sentences. And, and here is the, yeah, the 10 sentences that I uploaded. So after you practice, then come here and write in Korean to see if you really understand it. Because if you can uh, speak it, then you should be able to write it. And if you can write it, that means you know the sentences for sure. All right, so let's start with the lesson one. And in today's lesson, we're going to talk about Korean sentence structure, especially with object and adverb. <clears throat> So he says in both Korean and English, the simplest sentence structure of subject verb is the same. So for instance, subject verb, okay? For instance, if I say I go, okay, in English, it's same as in Korean. I, 나는, 가요. It's same in Korean. But when you add an object, or adverb, then then the structure changes. For English, if you just add an object like home, it's still the same, I go home, right? But in Korean, the object comes in between verb and, uh, no, sorry, subject and verb. So it changes. So for instance, 나는 home is 집이요. 집, okay, so 집에 가요. Okay, so it changes. 나는 집에 가요. I go home is 나는 집에 가요. And if you want to add adverb, for instance, let's say fast. Okay, in English, I go fast. But in Korean, it's, oops, it's 나는 빠르게 가요. See the difference? So instead of at the end, the adverb comes in between subject and verb. Okay, so that's, uh, yeah, that's the structure change. Okay, that happens in Korean when you add object or adverb, or both actually. So here, 
Uh, let's look at some of the sentences together. I am American. I, subject, am, verb, an American object. But as I said in Korea, it's subject, object, and verb. So, I, 나는, American, 미국 사람, am, 이에요. 나는 미국 사람, 이에요. Okay, and one more. I run fast. 나는, okay, sorry, I, subject, run, verb, fast, and verb. I run fast. In Korean, it's subject, adverb, and then verb. So I fast run. 나는 빨리 달려요. I, subject, 나는 빨리, fast, adverb, 달려요, run, verb. Okay? So now, after you know the grammar points, you are going to go to this section where you will be able to see all the words and you can write them out so you can practice writing the Korean words. Okay, and I, I feel that it's important to know as, um, as much as you can in the vocabulary so that you can expand the sentences. So not only just 10 sentences, you can use them to make new different sentences. And you should try that too. And uh, lastly, now after you have practiced and you can speak um, the sentences in Korean, now come here and uh, practice writing. So let's speak about like two and two, do it together. Okay, so how about this one? She speaks Korean fluently. She speaks Korean fluently. She is 그녀는. And what comes next? Yeah, adverb, right? Okay, ob uh, object or adverb, right? In this case, object is Korean and fluently is adverb. So we're going to use both here. So 그녀는 한국말을, 한국말을 is Korean. Okay, and fluently is 유창하게. And then speaks is 말해요. Okay, but because we have 한국말을 here, 말, 말 is like um, speaking, I guess. Um, so you don't have to use 말 here. So you can just say 그녀는 한국말을 유창하게 해요. Then it's completely okay. Alright, so subject, 그녀는, object, 한국말을, Adverb, 유창하게, 말해요, or 해요, verb. Okay, and let's do one more. How about this one? 우리는, is we, and then draw. Okay, we're going to use it at the end. Okay, and then what's the object here? Picture, right? And carefully is adverb. So, 우리는, what comes next? 그림을, right? Picture, 그림을. And the carefully is 조심스럽게. Okay, and then draw, 그려요. Okay, 우리는 그림을 조심스럽게 그려요. 우리는 subject, 그림을 object, 조심스럽게 adverb, 그려요, verb. Alright, so please practice and keep doing it and um, I'm going to upload more, so please follow. Um, and one more thing, maybe some of you just want to practice speaking, but writing does help you remember better and eventually you will want to write as well as uh, speaking uh, as you advance in Korean. Because learning a language covers all four areas, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. So that's why I have designed the worksheets so that you can use them. 
So please, uh, yeah, keep following, watching, and practice as much as you can. So, uh, so that your Korean gets me better by the day. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Okay, bye bye.